This is a key to the worksheet uh, number two on topic seven, part B. And on this worksheet, you have these uh, compound inequalities that um, you want to solve for. So uh, if you look at number one, you have this compound inequality, and it states that negative 14 is less than or equal to 3x minus 2. And at the same time, notice my words, and at the same time, 3x minus 2 has to be less than 7. So in our lesson, we, we talked about the fact that for this particular example, for this particular problem, you can solve this in two different ways that we looked at. The fact that there are integers, or not necessarily integers, but real numbers on the outer sides, and you in the middle you have just the variable expression, you can easily do this in two ways. All right, so let's look at the first approach, the first approach. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this again. And our first approach, which is what most of you will prob probably do, is to isolate the variable in the middle. And you can do that because on the outsides you have real numbers. So, so if I were to cover this part here, and this was a simple inequality, then all you would do is, is add two to both sides, right? Okay, but the fact that you have this compound inequality, you have to add two to all parts. So the right side, the middle, I'm sorry, the left side, the middle, and the right side. And then let's combine like terms. So when I combine like terms, negative 14 plus 2 is a negative 12. It's less than or equal to, and then uh, this is 0. So you have 3x is less than 9. And then I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this over again. Um, and then the next step, to get x by itself, right now you're multiplying by 3. The opposite is to divide all three parts. See this part, this part, this part, by 3. And so therefore, negative 12 divided by 3 is a negative 4. It's less than or equal to x, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x. And that's less than or equal to uh, 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So the solutions to this compound inequality is the same as the solution here. Okay, so, so all of these steps are equivalent. I use the properties of equality to help us with this. Um, so all these steps are, are equivalent. Okay, so the, the other part you have to do to, the, to these problems is this. So it says indicate the solution in three different ways. You're going to graph the solution, you're going to indicate the solution as an inequality notation, and you're going to indicate the solution interval notation. Okay? All right, so, so this right here, that is the inequality notation. So inequality notation inequality notation is this. So your solutions are going to be between negative 4, including negative 4 because of the equal sign, and 3. Not including 3 because there's no, no equal sign. So any real number with it between negative 4 and 3, including negative 4, but not 3. The graph, um, depending on what your number line looks like, if this is 0, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, you're going to have a closed circle on negative 4 because of the equal sign. Negative 4 is a solution. And 1, 2, 3. And you're going to have an open circle on 3 because 3 is not a solution. But you have to shade in. You remember, you're, you're shading the, the solutions. So don't just leave it like this because the only solution here is that negative 4 if, if that's what you're, you're writing it as. So the solutions are every real number between those two including negative 4. Okay? And then the interval notation, your interval notation, um, you just read it from the graph or your inequality notation. So you're going to say bracket negative 4, comma, all the way to 3 with parentheses. You have to make sure it's, it's in order from left to right, from smallest to largest. All right. So that was the first approach. So any real number in here is going to be a solution to this one. All right? And you can check um, if you want to check real quick, and, and um, let's just do it just for our discussion. So if we check one number in here, one real number in here, and let's just use an integer. Let's say negative 2. Negative 2 is in here, right? So, so check uh, that x equal negative 2 is a solution. So there's an infinite number of solutions. So the numbers outside that interval are not solutions. 
So if I go back to the original, and where we see the variable x, I substitute negative 2. Let's see what, what that means. Negative 14 is less than or equal to 3 times negative 2 minus 2 is less than 7. So let's simplify this middle part. Negative 14 is less than or equal to um, this 3 times negative 2 is a negative 6. A negative 6 and a negative 2 is a negative 8 is less than 7. So is this a true statement? Is negative 14 less than or equal to negative 8? The answer is yes. And at the same time, is negative 8 less than 7? The answer is yes. So that's true. What I want to do is is check this one. So let's let's just I'm not going to do I'm only going to do it for for this one. But let's let's pick a number that's not inside this interval. So let's say um, five. See five's not in here. So let's let's check to see why x equal five is not a solution. So let's see why. So let's go back to our original inequality and substitute in place of x, we're going to substitute 5. So let me go ahead and just rewrite this over. Uh, 3x minus 2 is less than 7. So in place of x, I'm going to substitute 5. So negative 14 is less than or equal to 3 times 5 minus 2 is less than 7. Um, well, 3 times 5 is 15, right? And then 15 minus 2 is, is 13. Okay, so I have negative 14 is less than or equal to 13 is less than 7. So let's see if this is true. Is negative 14 less than 13, less than or equal to 13? The answer is yes. But look, is 13 less than 7? The answer is no. 13 is not less than 7. So that's why, that's why x equal 5 is not a solution. Okay? Alright, so that's the first approach. The second approach is this, and I'm probably going to need another sheet of paper for that one. So let's 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 look at that second approach. So the second approach, oops, second approach is this. With a compound inequality, when I read it out loud earlier, I said negative 14 is less than or equal to 3x minus 2, and at the same time, 3x minus 2 has to be less than 7. So, so that's where you're going to split it apart using that AND statement. So when you have that compound inequality, you're dealing with an AND statement. All right, so you're going to say, negative 14 is less than or equal to 3x minus 2, and at the same time, 3x minus 2 must be less than 7. So, so you have those two inequalities to deal with. All right, so uh, adding 2 to, we're going to solve each one individually. So adding 2 to both sides, negative 14 plus 2 is a negative 12. It's less than or equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x. So I get negative 12 divided by 3 is a negative 4. It's less than or equal to x. Remember, negative 4 is less than or equal to x means the same thing as x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Those two are the same thing. All right, let's do this. Add 2 to both sides. I get 3x is less than 9. Divide both sides by 3. The 3's divide out. I get x is less than 3. Okay? Now, what that means is this. This right here is a solution to this. Okay? That x is greater than or equal to negative 4 is a solution to this linear inequality x less than 3 is a solution to this linear inequality. So when you do that second approach, you've got to keep that in mind. All you found here is a solution to this, and all you found here is a solution to this. But you still haven't told me what the solution to the compound inequality is. So that's where you have to use that AND statement. So there's a, if you do that second approach, there's a little bit more work you have to do. So on the number line, we're going to talk about these now. So here's negative 4, and here's 3. So you put, you put those numbers on the outside here. So the graph of this, if I graph the solutions for this linear inequality here, I get um, um, a closed circle all the way to the right, because x is greater than or equal to negative 4. And then x is less than 3, that's an open circle to the left. And the AND statement means that the solution the solution to this compound inequality is the intersection of these two simple inequalities. And so your, your answer, then your graph, is going to be uh, from negative 4 to 3. So negative 4 with a closed circle, 3 with an open circle, and you shade it in. And that's the same thing we had here. Okay? Same thing we had here. This is just a little bit more work because you wrote it as two uh, separate simple inequalities and you have to look at the intersection. 
Then the inequality notation, so in the inequality notation, you're saying that all of your uh, solutions are between negative 4 and 3. So all your solutions are between negative 4 with, with an equal sign because that's a bracket and 3 without the equal sign. Okay? And so your interval notation, interval notation, you're going to say bracket negative 4 comma all the way to 3 with parentheses. Okay? Alright, so that's, that's the two approaches. Most students use this approach because it's, it's uh, more efficient. Alright, now um, if you use the second approach, remember you have to you have to determine the intersection, the end statement, the intersection of those two graphs and that's the solution of the compound inequality you ended up with. Alright, so that's number one. Let's look at number two you had to deal with. So here's number two. So, so number two, if you look at it, it was this. It was um, 2x minus 7 is less than 7x plus 3. It's less than or equal to 2x plus 18. All right, so in this particular case, you have variables in all parts. Now, I can, I can use this, this first approach here, this first approach where, where I got the variable in the middle by itself. I can use that here only because the variable terms on the outsides are the, the, the variable terms are exactly the same 2x 2x. If that's the case then then you can use that first approach. So let's get that first approach. So I'm trying to saw I'm trying to find all real numbers that will make this inequality a true statement. So your first approach. So um, let me go ahead and rewrite this over. 2x minus 7 is less than 7x plus 3 is less than or equal to 2x plus 18. All right, and so so um, I, I want to I want to get rid of this 2x here, and I want to get rid of this 2x here. So they're the same. I can subtract 2x from all parts, just like this. Okay, do it just like that. And so 2x minus 2x is zero, and zero to negative seven is a negative seven. It's less than 7x minus 2x is 5x plus 3. It's less than or equal to, this is 0, 18. And now that looks like number 1. This right here, this right here, looks like number 1. Okay? And so we're going to get the, um, the variable by itself in the middle. So I'm going to subtract 3 from all parts now. Uh, negative 7 and negative 3 is a negative 10. is less than 5x, because that's 0. 3 and a negative 3 is 0. And that's less than or equal to 18 and negative 3 is a, is a positive 15. All right, and then to get x by itself, we're going to divide all parts by 5. Make sure you say division. All right, negative 10 divided by 5 is a negative 2. It's less than x. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And that's less than or equal to 3. All right, so there's, there's your inequality. So when you're asked... Um, on that first page, in number two, when you're asked to, to indicate the solution of inequality, that's, that's this right here. So you'd say negative two is less than x is less than or equal to three. All right? So there's your inequality. So that's the inequality. Okay? The interval, the interval notation, you're going to say parentheses negative two because there's no equal sign and you go from left to right. You go from smallest to largest. Negative 2 all the way to 3 with a bracket. And then the graph, the graph, uh, if this is 0 and this is negative 2 and this is 3, you're going to put an open circle here. Okay? 3 is a bracket, equal sign, closed circle. And the solutions are any real number that's between those two. So any real number between negative 2 and 3, including negative 3, but not negative 2, including 3, excuse me, but not negative 2, is a solution to the original inequality. All right. Now let's do that second approach. So let's look at that second approach. So if you do it the other way, which some of you did, so let me just show you what what uh, you should have done. Um, so the second approach is where we're going to use that and statement. So second approach. Okay, and statement. So let me go ahead and rewrite the original problem over. So two x minus seven is less than seven x plus three. It's less than or equal to 2x plus 18. All right, so the work. So, so basically, you're, you're going to write it as an and statement. So you're going to say 
2x minus 7 must be less than 7x plus 3. So 2x minus 7 must be less than 7x plus 3. And at the same time, this middle part, 7x plus 3, must be less than or equal to 2x plus 18. Okay? And so let's go ahead and, and bring the variables to one side. Um, since these are linear, simple linear inequalities now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring the variable to, to the right side. Some of you brought it to the, to the um, uh, I'm sorry, to the left side. Some of you brought it to the right side, but I'm going to bring it to the left side. So I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. 2x and a negative 7x is a negative 5x. Minus 7 is less than 7x minus 7x is 0, and that's 0 plus 3 is 3. Adding 7 to both sides, I get negative 5x is less than 10. Okay, now listen carefully. If I divide, to get x by itself, I'm going to have to divide, let me go ahead and write this over. If I get x by itself, I'm going to have to divide both sides by negative 5. But remember, when you divide or multiply an inequality by a negative number, you have to reverse this inequality symbol. So negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. 1 times x is x, so x is greater than negative 2. So x is greater than negative 2. Okay? Which is, which, which is what you see here, this little part. So negative 2 is less than x means x is greater than negative 2. All right, now let's look at this one. So over here, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. 7x minus 2x is 5x plus 3. is less than or equal to, and then that's 18. Subtracting 3 from both sides. Combining like terms, I get 5x is less than or equal to 18. Subtract 3 is 15. Divide both sides by 5. I'm dividing by a positive number, so you don't reverse. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times x is x. It's less than or equal to 3. All right? Now, remember, this right here, x is greater than negative 2, is a solution to this only. Okay? Any real number less than or equal to 3 is a solution to this only. But you want to find the solution to the original, which was this compound statement. So now you have to use the fact that the solution here, the solution here, when you graph them, the intersection of those two is going to be the solution to the original. All right, so let's let's look at where the intersection is because you have to deal with that and statement now. The intersection. The end statement, intersection. So negative 2 and 3. So here's negative 2. Here's 3. Make sure you put them in order. Um, X is greater than negative 2 means this. Here's the solution. X is less than or equal to 3 is this closed circle going this way. And then the intersection is this. So, so the intersection is the solution to the original. So now your answer, you're going to say uh, in terms of a graph, you're going to say here's negative 2, here's 3. So negative 2, you have that open circle. 3, you have that closed circle. So 3 is a solution, negative 2 is not, and you're going to shade in everything between them. And that's the same thing you had here. Okay. Your inequality notation, all right, which you don't see anywhere, so you have to indicate it. So the inequality notation, you're saying that x, that x is going to be greater than negative 2, and at the same time, it has to be less than or equal to a positive 3. Okay, so that and that are the same. And then the interval notation, the interval notation, you're going to say from left to right, from left to right, from smallest to largest, Parentheses, since there's there's no uh, equal sign, there's an open circle. Negative 2, comma, 3 with a bracket. Bracket because the equal sign, closed circle. 3 is a solution. Negative 2 is not. All right, so that was number 2 using that second approach. And then finally, number 3. So number 3, we have this for number 3. We have 3x minus 10 is less than 6x minus 1 is less than 2x plus 7. All right, now, keep in mind that that the variables on the outside, the variable terms on the outside are not identical. So you cannot use that first approach. You cannot, you cannot use this first approach here. Okay? So, so we have to use a second approach here. So you can only use, can only use second approach. And so, so therefore, we're going to write as an and statement. So if you cover up this part of the, any, the compound statement, 
you have 3x minus 10 is less than 6x minus 1. And at the same time, this 6x minus 1 has to be less than 2x plus 7. And then you do it just like you did in the, in the other problems. You've got to solve each linear inequality. So let's go ahead and subtract 6x from both sides. I get 3x minus 6x is a negative 3x minus 10. It's less than. Yeah, this adds up to be 0, and 0 minus 1 is a negative 1. Adding 10 to both sides, I get negative um, 3x. This is 0. It's less than negative 1 and 10 is 9. All right, now be careful. Remember, you're at this point. I'm rewriting it over. At this point, you're going to be dividing both sides by negative 3, and that's where you have to remember to reverse. Since I'm dividing or multiplying both sides of an equality by a negative number. So negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. 1 times x is x is greater than, and then 9 divided by negative 3 is a negative 3. So x, so any real number greater than negative 3 is a solution to this only. Okay, It's not necessarily a solution to this, to the original. It's a solution to this only. So you have to deal with the fact that, that you wrote it as an and statement, so you'll be looking at the intersection of those two to find the solution to this. Okay, so now I'm going to put an and there. I'm just bring down that and. Now let's go ahead and solve this one. So I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. So I have a linear inequality, a simple linear inequality. 6x minus 2x is 4x minus 1 is less than, this is 0, 0 plus 7 is 7. Adding 1 to both sides. I get 4x, this is 0, is less than 7 plus 1 is 8. And then dividing both sides by 4. You, remember, when you divide and multiply by a positive number, you don't reverse the symbol. Only when you multiply divide by a negative number. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times x is x. is less than 2. So any number less than 2 is a solution to this inequality here. It is not a solution here. Okay? All right. So... So now you got to, to find the solution here, though, you have to look at the intersection of those two. Okay, so let's do that. So the intersection of those two, put them in order. Negative 3 goes first to the left. Negative 3 is smaller than 2. X is greater than 3, open circle to the right. X is less than 2, open circle to the left. Okay, just like I did. And now the solution to the original is the... Uh, intersection of those two graphs where the, where those the where the numbers overlap and so your answer your solution is going to be in terms of the graph will be between negative 3 and 2 so here's negative 3 here's 2 um, and they're both open circles and you're going to shade in everything between them okay the interval notation interval notation will be parentheses negative 3 all the way to 2 parentheses. Make sure they're in order from left to right, smallest to largest. And then the inequality notation. Inequality notation. So you're saying any real number that's between negative 3 and 2. So, so any real number between negative 3 and 2. Notice no equal sign because they're all open circles. All right, so x, so x is greater than negative 3 and at the same time it's less than 2. That's what this says. Okay, so that oh, and and uh, so on. If you were to turn in the um, original and find it, so if you were turning the original page right here, you would you would graph the solution kind of like this. You would say um, negative three, two, open circle, and shade in the inequality. You would say negative three is less than x. It's less than two. And the interval notation, parentheses, negative 3 to 2, parentheses. Okay? All right, so that is, that is the key to topic 7, uh, um, worksheet 2.